Hello, hello. Just gonna wait a couple minutes for some people to jump on. How is everyone? So today we are talking about five ways you can make money online. So let me pull up my notes here. So if you are new to me, my name is Misty Sheen, and I am actually an online health coach. However, <laughs> um, I have worked online and um, I've had several businesses. So I'm going to tell you all about how you can make money from home. Um, we're going to talk about different ways to make money from home, and we're going to talk about the good and the bad about each one. So you can make an educated decision on what's going to be the best for you. A little better. So a little bit about me and why maybe you should listen. My, why you might want to listen. So when I was 18 years old, I remember my dad telling me that if you ever wanted to make a life for yourself, you needed to work for yourself and not for someone else. So he all, um, we hear those um, memes all the time. You either build your own dreams or you can build someone else's. And that, those are the things that he would tell me when I was only 18. And I went to school for accounting. Um, I had a really hard time going to school. However, much, much later, I actually went to school online and I did so much better where I really learned that I'm a very independent learner. I'm a very, um, I don't need someone to hold my hand. I don't necessarily need someone to keep me accountable. Um, I'm very much a go-getter if it's something that I want to actually do. So traditional school, um, I really didn't like it too much. So um, I actually joined my first network marketing team at 18. What, and my dad is the one who introduced me. And I really didn't make any money in that business. Um, however, I loved the personal development that I got. At just 18 years old, I was just soaking up all the knowledge like a sponge, all about self-growth, um, business growth, um, money, entrepreneurship, and um, just wealth consciousness. So... Then I went on to, I worked, always loved to work, always had multiple jobs going. I always had more than one source of income. And I loved it because if something didn't work out, it was no big deal because I never kept all my eggs in one basket. I always had something else going. And it also helped me keep busy and it helped me um, feel like, um, you know, it was more playful for me to have multiple things going on. Um, I get bored easily. So, um, that was really key for me is to always have multiple things going on. And so whenever, even when I was in college, I was in college full time and two part-time jobs. And I love that. I just always have loved being super busy. But things really changed for me when I had my son. When I first got pregnant, um, I actually got pregnant. And one week later, I got a promotion that I had spent over two months working towards. I spent over two months in phone interviews, sending up, I read in my resume, I really wanted this job a lot. And um, I got it, but it was unfortunate circumstances because I had also just found out I was pregnant. The job um, required 75% travel in the US, all over. 
So I would be gone Monday through Thursday, and then I'd fly home sometime on Friday. And then one week a month, I might just work from home. But it was a lot of travel, and I was when I was pregnant, I was already trying to figure out in my head how I could make it both work. I was already trying to figure out, well, if I hire a nanny, take the nanny with me on my traveling, then maybe I can make it work. Because I've always had, I've always had ambitions. I've always seen myself as a career woman. However, when I was a child, my mom wasn't always present. She worked a lot. I didn't have a good relationship with my mom. And um, because we didn't really have a lot of connection. And I knew that wasn't something that I wanted for my kids. So I wanted, I've always wanted both. I've always seen myself as a mom, always knew in, in school that I would be a mom. Um, I, I've never um, not thought that. However, you know, I really struggled with, you know, whenever they ask you in school, do you want to be the career mom or do you want to be the stay-at-home mom? I have always wanted both. I always have. So, um, so after my son was about two years old, it got really hard to leave him because I never really wanted him in daycare. And at the one time I left for work, I had an hour commute ahead of me and I worked Monday through Friday. I worked in accounting and I would come home and I had the weekends off, but I usually was really exhausted by the time I got home from work. And I remember the one time I left for work, I was getting ready to leave the house and he was up and he cried because he did not want me to leave him. And he was, I left him with dad. It's not like that he was with a stranger. It's not like he didn't know who he's with. I mean, he was with my husband, but that really tugged on my heart that he really wanted me to stay home. And I cried the entire way to work. And this was a pivotal moment for me because I realized I cried an entire way to work and I realized I needed to find a way to make this work. I needed to find a way for me to be home more. And if you don't know me, my son does have some special needs. So we realized at one years old that he just wasn't walking. He wasn't crawling like most kids. He wasn't talking. And he was just really far behind most kids his age. And so we started working with early intervention and we didn't actually know what his diagnosis was until he was three. And when he turned three, oh, shortly before he turned three, we got his diagnosis and I went to my boss and I was working in Akron or I was working at that accounting place that um, he, you know, still, and I went to them and I said, you know, I really feel like I need more time with my son. If I could just go down to four days a week, that would be great. And they said, okay, you, you need to do what you need to do. And two weeks later, I had a written notice that I was no longer needed for my services. And they had replaced me. And I walked out of there, never in my life have I ever been fired from a job, never in my life. Oh, I did get laid off when he was a baby, but I left on super good terms. But this was different. I walked out of there with such a relief off of my shoulders. No more did I have to commute for an hour a day. No more did I have to leave my son when I didn't want to. Um, we were, I was working full time, but I barely made enough money to even pay for his babysitter. And that was really hard for me. And I remember thinking I'm working way too hard for not to be this broke. Like, I just remember we just didn't have any money and, um, to not see my kid and still not have a lot of money to spend it just really weighed down on me. So I knew at that point that was a blessing in disguise for me to lose that job. However, I didn't feel like it. 
I sunk through depression, emotional eating, binge eating, binge drinking later on that year because I had always placed my worth in my work. Always. And even though I knew in my heart that I needed to be home with my son more, it really hurt because I've always been super ambitious. I've always been very independent, always liked having my own money. And now all of a sudden I was completely dependent on my husband. So fast forward a few months, um, someone came to me and wanted to know if I could babysit. And they said, you're already home anyway with your son. Maybe you'd be willing to babysit my nephew because they need, they're looking for a sitter. And it would help you too because it would give you money. I said, okay. So um, I, I bring this up because I realized I've always known in my heart that I wanted to be a business owner and an entrepreneur. However, I didn't always know what I wanted to do. And I've always had the idea, it's like, oh, maybe I could do this, maybe I could do that, but I didn't always know. And um, I've worked in, oh, from home in several capacities. So I would just want to let you know that, you know, I kind of know what's going on here. And like I said, when he was two years old, um, and I knew I needed to find a way to work more flexible hours, I did my research. And I was looking into all the ways that I could work from home. Um, I did research. I was going to become a virtual assistant until I got my first client and I realized I didn't like it. So I have prepared um, a presentation for you on five different ways you can make money from home. And the reason why I talk about this is because... Um, more of my story, when I was babysitting, I babysat for three different families. They brought their kids to me. I worked from home. I love that part. However, I was working 60 hours a week. I worked, I babysat from sun up to sundown. I hardly ever took weekends off. And what ended up happening was I suffered from burnout. And I had no energy. I couldn't lose weight. And this is how I became a health coach as I um, started working on my own health and then more and more people wanted me to help them too. So I was actually able to reproduce my income, the same amount of income in my health coaching business that I was making babysitting. And so I closed up my in-home daycare and now I just do health coaching. Um, but what I'm realizing in my work is there's so many women who are just working for money and they're sacrificing their family, they're sacrificing their health, and they're just not happy with where they are in their life. And I firmly believe that um, when we work in a way that feels good to us, that flows into every area of your life your marriage, your friendships, your money, your parenting. Because when you're burnt out, you're stressed out all the time, you're going to take it out on your family. You're going to take it out on your friends. And then pretty soon you turn into this person you didn't even recognize. And that's where I was. And I also firmly believe that our world would be so much different if we had more parents who were present with their kids, especially young kids, but all kids, even, even teenagers really need a lot of attention from their parents. And so many parents are both, the, it takes two incomes to bring in and raise a family. And so many parents are just working. They're not really having the time to really connect with their kids. And this is the tragedy that we're seeing in our school systems, in our mental health systems, and just across the board. So this is what I'm here to teach you. This is why I'm teaching this. Because I realized 
business has always kind of come really easy for me. I've always had mul multiple income streams and um, I want to help you have that too. So number one way you can work from home, and this is the way everyone told me I had to work from home because when I started working from home, it really wasn't that common. And everyone said, well, the only way you work from home is if you um, do customer service and you're on the phone all day. So that is an option. If you, especially if you were already working in an office and you're already like in a receptionist job, you know, this could be really transferable for you. Especially if you like talking on the phone, you like helping people, this could be a good job for you. So some of the pros are, um, you can start right now. All you need is a phone or a computer and there's jobs out there. There are companies out there who are hiring um, customer service reps from home. Um, companies like Amazon, you can make anywhere from like eight, $15 an hour um, working from home. So that is a viable solution. It's, it doesn't cost anything. You're, I mean, you just apply and you can start almost immediately. And most people already have a phone and or a computer. So that could be a really easy transition. However, I do want to um, warn you because um, but some, there are some cons to this. And some of the cons are you still have a fixed work, work schedule. You still have to report to someone else. So if um, flexibility is um, important to you, this might not be it. Um, you still have to be available whenever you're scheduled, just like if you're going to a job, if you're driving to a job, only difference is you're working from home. Um, so I knew that being hooked up to a computer or a phone, especially a phone all day, just wasn't viable for me because I had a two-year-old. Like, that just wasn't going to work for me. But if your kids are older or even really young to where um, maybe you have childcare, you have someone that can watch the kid while you're at home working, it could be an option for you. Um, just know that um, you're still working for someone else they're still um, paying you, so they call the shots. And um, you still have to wait on your paycheck to wait for them to pay you. So that is a customer service rep. Um, another way to work from home is um, selling a product. And when I'm talking about selling a product, I'm talking about you also making the product. So some pros to this is you work when you want, you set your own prices, you set your own hours, and you get paid as fast as your products sell. So um, if you are a crafty kind of person, and you're really good with your hands, um, if you're one of those Pinterest people, moms, who you're just really good at, you're very crafty and you can make lots of things, or there's one certain thing you're really good at, this could be great for you. Um, I am not very crafty, so product-based just was never in my wheelhouse. However, um, I did cloth diaper my son, so there was a time I thought, well, maybe I, can, I could learn to sew and make cloth diapers. Um, but again, that just was not in my wheelhouse. Um, that was not a good fit for me. But if there's something that you are really good at making, then that could be an option. Um, some cons, um, the work and the money stops when you do. So if you take a vacation, if you get hurt and all of a sudden you can't be working with your hands, you, um, the work and the money will stop. And it's really, it's typically a one-man show. Like you're the one doing all the work. And it can be really hard to duplicate. It can be really hard to teach other people how to do it. If you're just really good at it, um, it's very possible that someone else probably isn't going to be as good or, and they're not going to hold up to your standards. 
So the next one we want to talk about is service based. So I have worked in, I have done this. So I have made money offering a service to people. So um, one way I did this was I babysat kids out of my, in my house. So that was a service. People dropped their kids off to me. I watched them while they were working and they came and picked them up. Um, also, I told you that I thought I wanted to be a virtual assistant. I came from an accounting background. I came from an office administration background. I thought this is perfect. I can just do what I do for someone else. I can just work from home and help small businesses and I'm really good at it, right? And um, I could do it. Same as um, doing in-home daycare. I can do it. But just because you can do it doesn't always mean you should be doing it. So um, I, I mentioned that I get bored easily. And if I'm not always learning and I'm not always growing, um, I do get bored. So even in the jobs I had, even if I like them, like when I worked outside the home and I actually had a job, after about a year, I would get bored and I would be like, okay, what's next? I want to learn something else. And most of my employers, that wasn't good for them. They hired me for one thing and one thing only, and they really didn't want me to grow. Um, they didn't need me for anything else. And that really wasn't good for me. So, um, virtual, so a service-based business, this is something that you can do for money. You're offering a service to someone else. So some of the pros to um, a service-based business, there's lots of services out there. Like I said, I, I told you two that I did, but um, if you're a graphic designer, if you're really good on the computer, these are really great. You can become a personal assistant, running errands for um, people who are really busy, picking up dry cleaner, um, cooking for people. That's a service, and a lot of people don't have time to cook healthy meals, so that could be something that you could offer. If you like to cook, if you're good at cooking, um, you should be good at cooking because people are gonna have to eat it, and if they don't like it, then there's gonna be a problem there. You're not gonna stay in business for very long. Um, um, you can bring your current expertise in. You can do something that you already just love to do, um, and that could be good for you. Set your own prices, you set your own hours, and this can be online or offline. I'll give you two different examples. One, my babysitting um, in my in-home daycare was offline, but when I did virtual assistant services, that was online. So they can be both. Some cons to service-based business, um, you're still, most of the time, you're still doing time for money. You're trading time for money. So I'm gonna work this many hours and then I'm gonna get paid this much money. Um, you may be able to add help if needed. That can be a pro or a con, right? Um, a pro is you expand your time, you expand your resources, you can take on more clients. However, you still have to take the time to train them if they're not fully trained in what you do. And being a service-based um, entrepreneur, you typically are still hooked to your desk, your house, your car, where, whatever it is that you typically do. Um, for me, when I was an in-home daycare provider, I couldn't leave the house. I had three extra kids here and um, so leaving the house just wasn't an option. I mean, we went to the park, we would walk, but you know, going to the grocery store or just taking my kids somewhere just wasn't an option when I had other kids here. And same, if you're working online, you're typically still hooked up to your computer or your phone. The difference between customer service and service-based is one you're working for yourself, one where you're working for someone else.
So the next one we're going to talk about is affiliate marketing. So if you don't know what affiliate marketing is, basically you are recommending a product or service and the company will pay you if you get any sales for them. So it is like a sales job. Um, so affiliate marketing, you are, you're getting paid based on your recommendations. The pros to that is there's no shipping, there's no work required on your part. You're just like recommending a product or service. And typically this should be something you're already using, you already love it, you can show people how it works and be like, hey, if you want it to, you know, here, I can show you how to get it. And um, the company will typically pay you. Um, usually the pay is, it could be anywhere from 3% to 10% off the total sale. It just depends on the company. Um, you can affiliate for multiple companies. So you don't have to have just like one thing. You could just be whatever you're into, right? So if you're, say you're into cooking and you decide you wanna host a cooking show, um, you could, be an affiliate for spices, you could be an affiliate for cookware, uh, kitchenware, knives, um, anything where you're using in your shows and you can be like, hey, you know, this is what I do and this is what I'm using and I love it. So there's really typically low to no startup costs with affiliate marketing. It's just the cost of the product that you would be using. So again, you should be affiliate for something you're already using, something you already love. Um, so it'll be a lot easier for you to sell and talk about. Some of the cons um, is commission based. So if you don't sell anything, you don't make any money. Um, so you typically should already have a following who is willing to buy and willing to, they trust you and they trust your recommendations. Um, the commissions are low though. We talked about three to 10%. It's typically pretty low. So if you sell a hundred dollar product, you're going to make 10 bucks. You should, I mean, you would have to sell a lot. Um, most companies actually want you to have five thousand followers on Instagram before they'll allow you to like pay, before they'll pay you for your recommendations so um, you should have a large following and if you don't it might not be the best um, way to make money for you and then the number five way we are um, talking about how to make money from home is network marketing. So network marketing is similar to affiliate marketing. A lot of the same things apply. However, you're typically working with one company. It should be something you love. It should be something you already use and you will be happy to recommend it to other people. Again, pros, you, you get paid for your recommendations. No shipping required, no work really required on your part. The companies, um, you make, they make the product, they ship the product. All you're doing is recommending it. Um, part, um, network marketing, one of the big perks of network marketing is you're part of a community. You're networking with other people who are doing the same thing. And a lot of times they're willing to teach you what they're doing, what's working, so you don't have to figure it out all on your own. Um, one big, um, so they do have higher commissions than regular affiliate marketing. Um, most network marketing companies um, pay anywhere from 20 to 50% profit. Um, both I told you in eight, when I was 18, I was part of a um, network marketing company. I didn't make any money. But 
Since then, I've been part of two network marketing companies and both times I made 50% profit and that's really good. You know, and now I don't really like to work for anything less than 50%. I don't like to get less than 50% discount on my own stuff, right? Um, I'm kind of spoiled in that. So um, another way to make money with network marketing is you can teach other people how to do what you're doing and typically the company will pay you a portion of that person's sales. So they're basically like, if you can help other, if you can find success for yourself, and then you teach other people how to be successful too, then you make more money. Um, some companies pay you to, they pay you to go on vacation, you know, based on your sales, based on your activity, based on your success, you can win free vacations. Um, and most network marketing companies actually already give you your own website. So you're not having to build your own website if you don't want to. Some cons to network marketing is there is typically a startup fee um, anywhere from like $49 up to a couple hundred. Um, and you really should, like I said before, you should love what you're selling because I'm a firm believer you can't sell anything you don't love or anything you don't believe in. So my first network marketing company I was part of, the one, my, it's actually my second, but the first one I made money in, um, I sold jewelry. So I actually had to do in-home house parties and I did vendor shows. So I would go out into the community, set up a table, and I showed women how to wear accessories. I love fashion. I love jewelry. It seemed like a natural fit. However, um, doing parties outside of my house really wasn't good for me because I still had to find a babysitter for my son and I never knew if I was going to make any sales or not. Um, now, I am with a network marketing company. It's a nutrition company and all my customers come to me online. I never have to leave my house and it works a lot better for me. So, um, I've used the products and had my own transformation and then I'm able to sell because people just want to know what I'm doing. So I do have an, I did offer a special deal if you came live. So um, I am offering a free consultation, free consultation to, um, get on the phone with me and I'll help you decide what's going to be best for you. And I'll help you decide, you know, based on your lifestyle, based on what you're currently doing, how you can make money online. So I am um, also launching a brand new uh, 30 day, four week um, course. Uh, it's a group program and it's called flash your brilliance. It's a four week program. We are, we are going to help you figure out what it is that you're good at and what it is that you would be great at making money with and how you can help other people and make money by helping others. So um, in week one, we're going to define your goals, your ideal lifestyle, um, your, your ideal schedule, and we're going to find your ideal business model based on what's going to work for you. And um, week two, it's going to be all about finding your brilliance, identifying your strengths, and where you can really shine, and where you can really um, do well making money. And we're going to find out what people would actually pay you for. Week three, uh, we are going to be diving deep into your client, understanding your client, and learning how to brand you, brand yourself, so that People want to pay you. And week four is all about sharing is caring. Um, it's all about social media. Um, you're going to learn how and what to share on social media. And um, I am offering a couple bonuses on mindset practice 
and also a cash injection on how to get you making money right away or as fast as possible. So um, I am offering an early bird bonus and an early bird pricing. So um, right now, if you purchase, it's $99 to get into the group program. That is a super, super deal. And um, with that, that expires on June 7th. Um, but with that early bird, I'm also offering a one hour call. So we're gonna, we're gonna start brainstorming different ideas and what you could do to start making money. And it's very possible you could be making money before we even start the course. So um, we're also, each week, um, you're gonna get a new video plus a workout, a workbook, um, and we're gonna be diving deep into all the topics each week. Each week, we're gonna have weekly question and answer calls, so you get your questions answered. If you have any questions about the lessons and you're not real clear on what you should be doing, then I'm gonna be um, available to help you um, brainstorm and figure that out. And we're also going to have a private Facebook group. So um, you can go in there, um, talk to other people, find out what other people are doing, and just um, network. And also add, get your questions answered in there as well. So um, there is two ways to get into the course. You can just get into the course or... If you've been following me a while and you wanting to learn how I got paid basically to transform my body, um, I am offering a special deal. If you become a coach on my network marketing team, um, it's around $130. It's a little bit more than the course itself, but um, you're going to get products. You're going to get a discount on your products. You're going to get a sample business in a box, and I'm going to teach you how to really turn a profit with those samples and with those products and I'll get you making money within two weeks. So the course starts June 11th um, and I hope to see you. Uh, again, early bird pricing is until June 7th. So this is a great, great price. This is a great deal if you are really wanting to know how you can make money from home if you're tired of trading your precious precious time for time with your kids time with your babies you'll never get that time back so why not work on your own terms why not actually get paid to do something you actually like to do and you're already really good at so um i would love to help you do that and that's all i have for today but um, if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. You can join my Facebook group, the Ultimate Fem Tribe, or you can send me an email back.